Hi again, this is Sheila uh, uh, E. from Tennessee. I want to show you what I'm up to this morning. I'm making some, I uh, want you to see this right here. And I'm going to give you the uh, recipe, but I'm going to keep out my secret recipe because nobody else does their uh, peanut butter balls like I do. So uh, the recipe for this is uh, two cups of peanut butter, uh, creamy or chunky, whichever one you like. Half a cup of butter melted, two t uh, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla, and then you want to use your chocolate bark, your almond bark, to dip these in. So, after you get these, uh, your butter, your peanut butter, and your vanilla all mixed in together, add three or three and a half cups of powdered sugar, and then mash them with a spoon. You cannot, you cannot do this with a mixer. It probably tear your mixer up so thick. So then you go ahead and you, uh, I use a little bitty ice cream scoop because I want them to be uh, good sized peanut butter balls or some people call them Buckeyes. Uh, the recipe for them is just a little bit different uh, but they taste about the same. I uh, also use this same mixture for uh, my um, uh, Reese cups, homemade Reese cups. So you see I'm getting quite a bit. I'm only using like a half a scoop, folks, because these, they get huge, and then when they get cold, I'm going to stick them in the freezer. Then's when I will make them round, and then then's when I will make put them in the, uh, the almond bark. So, you can make them too big, and they're just, I mean, they're just more than what you can actually eat because they're so rich. So, anyway, let me get the rest of this out of here. You know, that makes quite a few. Um, <clears throat> I'm also going to do some coconut balls today, too. And I'll, I'll give you the recipe that's that I Googled out and found. And that, uh, then again, I say just tweak your own and see what, you know, experiment with it. Because I have made it my own, too. And I've had a lot of people to tell me that... Uh, Mine are the best they've ever eaten. Of course, that's just, I'm not bragging on myself. They are pretty doggone good, let me tell you. You know, I'm Sheila E. from Tennessee, and it's going to be delicious, you all. And it is. Most of that's why I have a hard time uh, trying to stay little. You know, as you get older, it's harder to, to lose weight or maintain a weight. But I had a doctor one time to tell me, said, Sheila, and this is really rough on you, but it gets you to thinking. He said, Sheila, he said, uh, like if you, back I was lived, raised in the country, and we, we raised hogs, pigs, and had our beef cattle and chickens and eggs. And he said, uh, you know, on a farm, when you raise a hog, he said, uh, when you, you start out with a little pig, and then you uh, get that pig to make to its main weight, what you want it to be, like five, six, seven hundred pounds. He said, once you get that pig, uh, to what, what, I'm going to take it back in there, to what you want it to be, it don't take nothing to maintain, uh, that weight for that pig. I mean, you can have an 800 pound hog, and you can give it a cup of corn a day, and it'll maintain that weight, so, you know, that really got me to thinking, I'm thinking, you know, I don't know whether, to, how to take it, but he was being true, because once you get up to a certain, uh, weight, it don't take, people say, well, I don't eat nothing, well, you don't have to, because once you get up to that certain weight, uh, it don't take nothing to maintain it. So you have to come way under your calories uh, that you're used to eating, way, way under. And then you have to try to move some if you can. I mean, I don't, I'm not doing exercise, but I am working a couple days a week. And I do try to, we clean house, and I don't know if you can or not, but I think you got to go above and beyond that. So guys, I'm going to stick these in the, in the uh, freezer for a little while, and then I'll get you back out, and I'll show you how I dip them, okay? So let me give you that recipe again. That is two cups of peanut butter, creamy or chunky, your choice. One half cup of butter, uh, fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla, three to three and a half cups of powdered sugar. So you mix these up with your uh, spoon as best you can. 
uh, you have to mush and mush and get them all in there and then you roll them out or you use a little ice cream scoop to m put them out and then you see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-n
we're going to use one can of sweetened condensed milk and i've got the great value sweetened condensed milk uh you can use eagle brand you can use as long as it's sweetened condensed milk and it is a 14 ounce can so i'm gonna pour all that in there move that lead back i sure don't want to be cut and my can opener didn't do it didn't take it all the way off so it don't matter Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. You know how it is. Life is life, and I'm thankful for every minute that the Lord gives me. I've got a few, uh, some more new viewers, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot, folks. I'm, I'm just sort of in shock and in awe that I have, I've got 46 viewers that's following me on the YouTube on Sheila E. from Tennessee. And then I've got, um, uh, over 12 over 13,000 views and i'm just i'm just tickled to death so now we've got the coconut we've got the condensed milk this recipe calls for two teaspoons of vanilla you can use coconut uh you, you can get a flavoring that says coconut flavoring i uh, believe it it's in your wherever all of your flavorings are so this is right here is a uh Looks says a half a teaspoon. That looks awful big, folks. Maybe I should put my glasses on. Reckon that'd work? That says a half a teaspoon. No, a half a tablespoon. So that would be it right there. I'm going to find a teaspoon. I don't trust them measurements. Here we go. One teaspoon. So here we go. And I've got a... I, I, I just... I, I like a good vanilla, but I've got this on hand and I need to use it. So this is one teaspoon and two teaspoons. Now this would be where I would put my secret ingredient in, but it don't call for that. Let me rinse this off. This is something like I'm telling y'all, especially these young cooks that's learning. Uh, Tweak your stuff, experiment with it a little bit, and see if you can make what already is better. So what we have here is we've got three cups of coconut finely chopped, uh, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one can of sweetened co uh, condensed milk, and that's Eagle Brand or Great Value, whatever, Food Club, whatever you can find. Then it says two cups. I'm going to go ahead and give that a stir, though. Because we got to put two cups of uh, powdered sugar. All right, and see, this ain't something you can do with a mixer either. I don't. I go through two or three hand mixers. Plus, I got my big KitchenAid over here, and I love my big KitchenAid. I named her. Her name is uh, Miss Daisy, and I love her. She's 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 just a hard-working girl. So anyway, it says two cups of powdered sugar. All right, there's one cup, and I don't press it down or anything. I just sort of eyeball it. There's two cups, so I don't want to uh, spill that stuff everywhere. You know how that can be, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I'm going to set this back over here because I'm done with that, and then I'm going to put you on hold if I can. Trying to work this. I've not got me a tripod yet. I, I want to get me one, but still, yet it is what it is. I've it just seems like the times of day just it just takes forever to do what you gotta do you see how that's see how that's looking there so it's something that you just stir and stir and stir and i'm gonna get a pan out here in a minute and i'll do them just exactly like i do the peanut butter balls i get a little uh ice cream scoop i think you might be able to find one smaller than that i'm not sure i'm gonna put just a dab more uh of powdered sugar even though that said two cups like i said you tweak it for yourself okay that looks just about right i'm gonna put you on hold just for a minute all right i'm back sorry about that i just remembered i've got to have two I've got to double that because I've got to have two runs of that. So I went ahead and put the rest of my coconut in there. Uh, the three cups. So actually we've got six cups of coconut. 
we want to add two more teaspoons of vanilla because it called for uh, two. So there's, we're going we're gonna to have four now. And uh, then the condensed milk. We'll go ahead and pop that open right here. This one's a pop top lid. And I want to say this is a, it's a food club, I believe. Pretty sure it's not the Eagle brand. So I'm going to go ahead and get a spoon and get that out of there. And it takes one can per uh, round of it. So we'll put that in there. This is less fat. This one is. Because you can get the Eagle brand or off brand name. It doesn't matter. Uh, Eagle brand's the best. But I'm not sure you can find it in the low fat. I like to use this in a lot if I'm doing it for my family. This is the low fat uh, condensed milk. So I've got my powder. I've got my, uh, so now I'll, I've got my fourth. I've got four things of, of uh, now I've got six cups of coconut. I've got four things, uh, teaspoons of vanilla. I've got two cans of sweetened condensed milk. And I've already put two things, two cups of powdered sugar. So I'm going to. I'm going to stir this. See here, it's getting hard to stir, guys. And you have to get it mixed up really, really good. I've got to put two more, since this is a double, two more powdered sugar. And I hope I got enough. If I don't, I got some more in my pantry. So, so here we go. I need to probably put this in a container, but I used so much of it, guys. I, I never would keep a container full, especially during like around close to Valentine's Day and Christmas and you're always making that stuff. So there's two cups, always making candies and cookies and stuff, use a lot of powdered sugar. Making sure that that is, yes. So let me give this to you again. <clears throat> two cups of powdered sugar, one can of sweetened condensed milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, and three cups of coconut, uh, shredded coconut. So, and then you have your almond bark ready. You melt it, you uh, can either use them, uh, do, do in chocolate bark or the white almond bark, okay? So I'm gonna get this stirred up. And this is gonna be a double batch. And you can see it's not a fast process because it's really thick. We'll get there. We just have to uh, just give it a second and keep on stirring and mushing. You want to mush all your coconut into that powdered sugar and your vanilla all the good things and then you get it to where uh, you can almost tell the consistency it's almost making a, a ball and when it gets there you know that and you want to get down the bottom of that too because right there was some some of my vanilla right in the bottom of it and we we want that vanilla in those uh, coconut truffles or coconut balls we don't want that in the bottom we want it spread it out Like I said, I have, this is where I would put my uh, own ingredient in that I come up with. And I just sort of swap one ingredient around for another. But this is about, just about to where I can be able to uh, spoon it out and put it in the freezer. And you have to, you have to put these in the freezer too. They have to be to where you can roll them in a bowl. See that? I want to make sure I've got all this down here in the bottom. This powdered sugar, there's some more powdered sugar. We want that up here mixed up with this. Let me turn it over and see if I've got all of it on the other side. Yeah, that way you can see the consistency. See that powdered sugar? We don't want that down there. We want that in, in your mix. Like I was telling you before, I'm just tickle pink that I have as many viewers as I do because I was surprised there's so many cooking shows on TV, uh, excuse me, on YouTube that you would never believe that, you know, that you could get that many in a month. And I'm, I'm thankful. 
I'm very thankful and I appreciate it guys and I I tell you what really makes me happy is when some of my viewers make the things that I've been making and uh, then they send me pictures and you know what I just make I just feel like a little proud peacock because 